What is up everyone, Oscar here with a new video. Before I get into it though, I would like to remind you guys to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video, and turn on post notifications so that way you guys know when I drop a new video. And this is going to be talking about uh, Real Madrid versus, oh my god, uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach, uh, tried to pronounce it as best as I could. Um, the Champions League matchup that Real Madrid was in earlier t just now just wrapped up. And the final score was 2-2. Two to two. Um, Real Madrid was behind 2-0, to zero, was able to come back and tie it. Wasn't able to come back and win it. But Real Madrid, they're fine. Look, listen. They're fine in the... Um, they're fun in La Liga. I don't know what it is that what's what goes down in the Champions League with them. They always ha end up with slow starts, um, and then you know they it's very they they concern me in the Champions League. Yeah, Zinedine Zidane has you know three Champions League titles and he he earned those, but now it really concerns me because. We can't be falling behind in these games. We really can't, especially in the Champions League. You know, the the, the fans. You know, okay, Zinedine Zidane, you won La Liga, but can you win a fourth Champions League? I want to see another Champions League for Real Madrid, um, without Ronaldo. Because remember, we don't have a main a main you know guy to to score goals. Um, Eden Hazard. Um, returned today, by the way, after 81 days of being inactive. Ever since the August 7th matchup in, against Manchester City, he makes his return. Um, played okay for the 20 for the 20 25 minutes that he was in. Um, good thing that Real Madrid did not start him. Um, he wouldn't have lasted the entire game, but you know he was able to play the 20 25 minutes. He played okay for my standards. You know, almost had a goal. Um, I think his first few touches in the game, so you know, it, you know, played okay. Now my question is, can he find a way to score goals and play the full ninety minutes like we like Real Madrid needs him to, so that way we can you know be taken seriously? Because again, like I said, we were falling two, we we were down two to zero. Um, Federico Valverde again is our is our ball out. He is our you know most valuable player in in this um, in Real Madrid. Um, to this point, because he's you know saved many goals um, that uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach Monge, uh, could have scored. So you know, um, and he had go almost had attempted a few goals as well. So yeah, um, uh, it, Real Madrid comes back from a draw, an eighty uh, goal at the eighty seventh minute by Karim Benzema. Like I said. We need to find a way to score more goals. Um, it's just unfortunate. It is what it is. Um, so they it makes it two to one. Um, and then of course uh, Casemiro had an assist with that goal. A nice assist. And then he scores his own goal, the last minute of the matchup um, today. So to to make it two to two. Um, Borussia Mönchengladbach, from what I hear, have blown leads. So I was here. We're gonna. gonna I'm gonna record this saying like this: Real Madrid, the way that they played last last week, and the way that they played this week in the Champions League, Real Madrid has never made it to the Europa League, which is a second version of the Champions League, but just for for teams that you know are either in fourth place. Fifth place in their in in their respective um, league, and then of course whoever doesn't qualify to the round of sixteen in the Champions League, they will have an opportunity to do it to the Europa League. I don't know. I just have a feeling that Real Madrid will be one of those teams for the first time ever. I don't think, from what I hear, the the analysis say, the commentators say that Real Madrid <clears throat> in the current format that they are in. They have never gone to the Europa League, but I have a feeling that this year is the year. Just the way that Real Madrid is playing, um, they were trailing three to zero um, last week, and then they 
were trailing this game two to zero. Um, was able to get the point, but you know, my when when Real Madrid plays Inter de Milan, um, which is a big big Italian team, that's my main concern. Roman Lukaku, uh, who I need to double check who else is on the team, but Roman Lukaku is a name that jumps out to me. So, yeah, um, bittersweet two to two, even though Real Madrid dominated the time of possession in the first half, but um. Borussia Monchek Glockbach just able to control the the game. They were up one to zero at half, and then they were able to score the the, the two to zero um, midway through the second half, and then Real Madrid just pulls out the the I don't know what to, to score the the two to one and then the two to two. So, alrighty guys, that is my analysis. That is my take on this game. Real Madrid um, upcoming. La Liga matchup is on Saturday. I would have to double check the time so that way I can watch that game so I can produce content. So that is it for me. Like I said, like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video, turn on post notifications. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.